Welcome to OCI. If you're wondering how to install OCI CLI and configure it on your own computer, you have come to the right place. We are going to show you exactly how to do that. In this video, we will install OCI CLI on a Mac operating system. Please watch part one and two of the series for the steps to install OCI CLI on Linux and Windows operating systems. I have a Mac OS machine. Let's open terminal and look at the steps specified in the documentation. As the document says, we need homebrew to be installed as an additional prerequisite for installing OCI CLI on Mac OS. To install the CLI on Mac OS with Homebrew, we need to run Brew Update and Brew Install OCI CLI. As we see, OCI CLI dependent packages are getting downloaded and our OCI CLI installation is done. To verify OCI CLI installation, let's run OCI hyphen V or OCI hyphen hyphen version. As we see, the output is the version of OCI CLI installed version. Now, let's proceed to run a command to fetch OCI object storage namespace, OCI OS NS get. As we see, we are ended up with an error saying that the configuration file is not located. So it is prompting us to create a new configuration file. Let us proceed with no and create the configuration file using a setup dialog. To have the CLI guide you through the first time setup process, use OCI setup config command. This command prompts us for the information required to create the configuration file, such as user OSIT, NNC OSIT, region, public, and private keys. The setup dialog uses this information to generate the configuration file. We can either use the existing API keys by providing the exact path where they are located, or we can generate the new ones. Let's proceed with OCI setup config. As we run it, it's prompting us for location to save the configuration file. Let's go with default. It's prompting for a user OSIT. We have given user OSIT. It's asking for tenancy OSIT. We're giving it. Now it's asking to enter a region by its index or its name. For now, we'll go with EU Amsterdam 1, and its index is 16. Now it's asking us to generate a new key pair or to supply the path for existing keys. Let's proceed with creating new key pair. So it's prompting us to enter a directory to save the keys. Let's proceed with the default options. So now the public key is written to this path and dot .oci and the home directory. It is asking me to provide a passphrase for private key. Let's go without any passphrase for now. If a passphrase is needed, we can key in here. Now the private key is also written. The configuration file is saved. Now we have to copy this public key file, upload it in the OCA console section, API keys under the user, or we can paste the content of it. Now I'm in the user page under API key section. I clicked on add API and pasted the public key, which I just generated in the previous step. I just verified the fingerprint. When I run the OS NS get command, I'm able to see the object storage namespace as the output. We can also run OCI IAM region list with a tabular formatted output by providing hyphen hyphen output table. Here we see the list of OCI regions. Our OCI CLI Installation and configuration on macOS is successful. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful.